Hi guys, so I'm um, this is my first makeup class with um Farouat. Um today she just wants to see what I usually do, so I'll do it. I can do the whole face for you. It's quick quick. Okay, you say in 15 minutes. Yeah. 15 minutes. Yeah. So she wants to see what I normally do and then we're gonna work from there, improve my skills from there. So she's asking me where's my makeup. So my makeup is in here. Where's your makeup bag? So this is usually what I use for my foundation, but it's the wrong brush. Okay, and there are better brushes, yes. Okay. Yeah, okay, I'll do it with this one. Is that the one you have? Okay. What other ones do you have? Um, so you, yeah, like I said, do you Okay. Okay, so what is that you're putting on? Primer. Okay. Uh, Mac. Which is almost up. Color NC42. NC42. How is NC42? I know, you guys told me you think I'm NC40. Uh, <coughs> I always put too much on my hands. Yeah, it's But it's fine, it's fine. It's the stuff is so expensive, man. Expensive. I know, my daddy must bow a cassie there for me. Look, just have a shelf. A nice shelf is we can carry a suitcase like this. I mean, you can just carry it wherever you go. Nice blending, very nice blending. I'm surprised at the blending of the brush. I didn't know. Yeah, so, do you think the blush is fine? It, it actually, like, I mean, like I said, there are better brushes. But okay. Because he's so used so to it by now. He's been doing he's been doing this now for more than two months. I couldn't yeah. find anything else, so I just chose. You must wash him yourself sometimes. Yeah, I should wash him. I think he needs a bit of a wash. For two months, he hasn't been washed. <laughs> I can see there's no need to <laughs> Okay, cool. And then, so I have medium beige. Mm -hmm. LA Girl. Okay. LA Girl. And I have NYX. Okay, nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how do you know if it's light enough? So, the thing is with concealer, why are you using it? To highlight the spots. To highlight. Okay, so to highlight the concealer is great. But if you want to use it to cover up the dark side. But then I, would, I need it orange first before my thing. Oh, clever. Yes, definitely. We need that orange. So with, with concealer, like I don't really like to go too light. It depends on what look you're going for. So if you really want it like Kim Kardashian light underneath the eyes sort of thing, then you can go like two, three, four shades lighter. Oh. But if you just want to enhance it a little bit, then I think like two shades, two shades lighter is fine. Oh, okay. One shade lighter. Oh, okay. So, but that's one. So, if we just put it on and we, we have a look to see. Oh. It's not like a rule. Okay, one shade lighter is your I one. add orange also, but it's also gone. I can't look after my stuff. Yeah. To apply a little bit less pressure. Oh, okay. Can you feel the difference? So yeah, what would it do to my skin if I put pressure on there? So it's not really doing anything to your skin. It's just that it's like, it's so hard. You're putting on so much product and you, like, for example, that's just why a lot of people find they've got lines and they can't get the sticks away of the foundation. It's because they're trying to blend it like right here. Whereas if you hold your hand a bit more back, you just... I mean, my hand gets lump. If you're not using your whole hand and your arm, just use it. Just use your wrist. Now I just leave the eyeshadow totally because I can't find my brushes. But now we're gonna go in with some I'm gonna start contouring. Okay. What are you using? Give me some. Hmm. I'm using okay. MAC. That is finished, eh? Huh? That's finished. But <laughs> the product is finished. <laughs> How can you say this is finished? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> oh my god! This product is finished. There's no more product, product inside. <laughs> that plus is done. Oh. <laughs> I've been using this now. Oh, how long? That's, that's work. No, no, I have other stuff. Okay. Yo, she so just crashed my dreams. Wait, guys, I'm, I'll be back now. Right so now we're gonna go in with some essence contouring. Let's see how this works. It's a bit, bit, bit too dark, but okay.
lighter so this is the NYX glasses with eye not really can I use any blush I have more blush but okay this one is this one is Catrice me how to do it properly but like out of a 10 how is this i would actually give you i'm thinking i'm looking at everything coloring contouring blending like mm -hmm. i give you like a 5.8 a 5.8 okay i give you a 5.8 but th this is not my fault that this I is was, too dark i was man. just gonna say i was just gonna say i feel like the give me sun would have been completely different the um. other one so keep let's keep that in mind mm. so okay we, we pushed up to a 6.2 okay 6.2 guys bye <laughs> okay guys i'm wiping the one off of my face i'm gonna use the myself with the face and foundation the face and body foundation see what it's like that on we're gonna use it like tomorrow you can try it on but with no primer and you can see how it is maybe on the so put your primer on is this a dropper mm -hmm. okay so maybe what i would maybe suggest is try putting it on your finger and then putting it like that on the face and maybe less tidy from that oh so just put some drops on your finger and then stop and then stop it out and there's nothing wrong with you here Perfectly fine. I'm gonna try using this brush. Do not use a brush like this. Yes, I must do it like this. Mm. So let's try that. And we'll try this brush. And I just want you to actually see the difference in color between the studio fix and your face and body. Okay, now be able to be really runny. Mm. Guys, so, I'm using the face and body now, not the studio fix. I'm using a little bit, yeah. You can layer it, but you can't, you can't build it, but I mean, it's not going to ever build to a full coverage foundation. Oh, okay. So it will build a little but not really full coverage. Mm. You might not even need a beauty blender. Mm. No, definitely not with that. So you can put another layer on. Otherwise, you're going to mess it and it's going to go everywhere. Oh, I feel so bad removing this, guys. This is money. <laughs> Mm. So we're using the orange for my dark spots. <coughs> and then I'm going to add some yellow, uh, which is the yellow one. Right? Your eye had both of them. So this one is under the eye under area. The eye. So oh. we're going to use a little bit of an orange and a little bit of a yellow. Cool. And then we're going to do a patting motion underneath the eye area. So, so you want me to mix the orange and yellow on my end? Just a little. No, 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 no. On my face. Yeah. Okay. So take a little bit of each. Just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. And then here is the yellow. Oh, and the yellow. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so dab a little bit of first in your hand. Together. Like this, yeah. Just like that. Mm -hmm. Just to get some product off. Okay, now you put it on the yellow. So only put it on the dark eyes. So go more up. Oh. Yeah. So don't really put where you don't need it. Okay, cool. Okay. Can you see a difference already between the two sides? Yes. Yeah. Okay, don't worry, we'll sort that out. So what I like to do is also go and like to go in the corner as well because sometimes that shadow creates a little bit of darkness as well and then just move it up into the dark. Is this not to do what? To take away so that orange? To hide a bit of the orange but also light at the same time but hold on, this is just wipe off the brush because you don't want any orange on the brush, right? Oh. So just take a clean tissue. It's like every time his hand just comes into the camera. And then you just wipe it off like that. So you see the orange just comes off a little bit. Don't go too wild. Just like a little bit of the orange off. 
And now I've got a semi-clean brush. You're just going to pat in lightly and pat in that orange. Ah, the yellow. Normally with this, people use a beauty blender. But we're using a brush. But this is like now already concealing. Yeah, so that's... You wouldn't use your concealer now as well. You just use this. Oh! Yeah, so that's going to cover. And it's going to highlight at the same time. Is this the normal yellow? This is the yellow. Oh, yeah. wow. So you see, you take it all the way up into the cheekbone, like you are now, and it's creating that oh, effect. I thought it must be... Uh... No, so I like to do it like this. <laughs> like that, like that, and then like that. Oh, okay. So just that area. That's a big difference. And when you're done patting, stop. Like, don't... You can overblend. Yeah. So just when you feel like it's all blended in, then you stop. Why do people have expensive and cheap powder? Isn't powder powder? So yes, powder is powder. Um, there are specific items out there that I would not really buy drugstore brands like my foundation because I just feel that foundation is something that's going to go on your face and you need it to last all day and you need to trust it and I trust the MAC products like okay. always um, okay I'm here hello guys apparently I was going to be she was going to be scolded out for me not being in the video so yes, I'm here she's here now cool um, so you are saying I must gosh okay okay so where are we now powder you're yeah. going to show me your powder but you can't find it yeah okay just pass me the powder on here and the tissues and the tissues and we left the brushes yeah it's all yeah i put it on the on your satin no the other brushes the Did black you, ones no the new okay i had a set of brush and i took out now oh the black ones yes sorry, sorry. okay everybody just calm down please okay so the powder <coughs> we are going to be using this one the luxury powder banana powder from revolution how much is that probably like a hundred and thirty fifty okay. i'm really not sure i bought it a while ago but it's really amazing because they've got this and then they've also got the orange one and then they've also got a um i think they've got a lighter color one but this is a lot more like for our skin colors it's very very nice so this is gonna set out makeup so what I like to do is I just like to pull a little bit. Show them what you're doing. Okay, with the old one. She goes like, I'm going to say I'm wasting. Okay. So I just pull a little bit out on the tissue. Okay. And then I'm going to use it from here. So I'm going to use a brush like this. This is an Inglot brush. Do you also have a brush like this similar? No. You see? Not really. Um, it's the one we use now for concealer probably. Yeah. Mm. This is the most similar one. Okay. I also really we use it for the same thing. See, the reason why I don't want you to do that is just because everything is going to transfer. So the next time you use it, unless you're going to clean your brushes every single time, oh. that's fine. Because otherwise you're going to transfer the product and product and product. And then this is why you know, we get this. <laughs> this has been used for foundation, concealer, bronzer. There's probably some eyeshadow on there as well somewhere. Oh okay, so let's just use... Is this... this no, that's a bit too big, so that we're going to use for your blush or for your contour. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> so there's another one there. Just have a look. Another sort of a thin one. Long, thin one. Like a smaller eyeshadow one. Mm-hmm. Okay. So this I need one. to know what brushes I use for what. This one. Yes. We're going to number them. Okay. So we're going to use this one from the set. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep your concealer brush in your hand. And then we're going to keep your powder brush. So we're going to pick up some powder. But this is your most precious. So we're picking up some powder. We're picking up some powder. Okay, just like that. Pick up the powder. Always tap off. So tap off your excess. Then what we're going to do is, do you have any... Is it creasing at all? So if it's creasing any at all, then look up for me. You're just going to sort of press in all the what creases. What does it mean if, it says, if you say it's creasing? So you know when the concealer or the foundation goes into the lines underneath your eye area. Oh. So it goes in the lines and then it sits there and then it just like, oh. like I'm sure everybody will know what I'm talking about because everybody's had that sometime in their life. Oh. Okay, so you press it in. Clearly you haven't. Not okay, really. then you're going to take the powder and you're going to press it in. Where? Underneath the eye area. Press, 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 press it in. Okay. Oh. Yeah. 
Ano na taong? Oo, oh, oh, okay, yeah. Okay, just enough. Just one layer is fine. Yeah. Okay, so there. Not to get in. So just change. You need to be changed. Okay. And go around here. And then what I like to do is, you see it's now a little bit more matte. Mm, okay, so now I like to take a bigger brush and then I just like to go over the rest of the face. So we can use that brush that you asked me now for earlier, what was that? That big one? No. Yes. Okay, so we're going to use this one. You see it's nice and fluffy, okay, but not too fluffy, that's it's firm. I'm going to pick up some more powder, just a little bit, let me see what I'm doing. Just in the Pick up on either side of the brush. Tap. Okay. And then we just pat in. So this is gonna help set the makeup definitely because face and body is not a long wedding foundation at all. Unless you're gonna set it with a little bit of a powder. So you can oh, you see it's matte. But this almost looks like my skin. Exactly, but your skin is still glowing. So without the powder, we looked very shiny, like it was like shiny. Oh, okay. And now the powder is to set everything and to make it last longer. Oh, okay. So what you should actually do is... But you must write down for me that powder that you have and, and the color. Don't worry, girls. going on our list with the okay. orange and the okay. everything is going on our list. So especially here as well, because remember here, you're going to put the contour. So here, you're going to put your powder. So remember if your skin is wet, you can't put the powder over cream. You understand? So if your foundation is still wet and you still have your foundation on and you put the powder and you're going to go in with this, you're gonna, your foundation is going to start to come off and it's going to look blotchy and you're going to wonder why your blush always looks so blotchy and it's not looking oh, right. Okay. And then you're also going to have that layer in your blush or your... Oh yeah, that's why that this hard thing layer. doesn't work, always work here yeah, for me. Yeah. Okay. So now we set. So now we use some contouring. So I saw you've got a powder here and you said it's a bit dark. So, we're going to use it as a contour. So, this is your Give Me Sun. Okay. Which brush did you use? This one, eh? mm. Okay. It's clean. Okay. So, go the same angle. But what I want you to try is what I did notice that you were doing it from here up. Mm -hmm. I want you to do it from here down. Because I want your bulk of your color to be here. Not here. Because this, if you start here, it's going to look like you've got like a whole like a dent from far, obviously. Because you know what a contour does. A contour is creating a shadow. Right, so a contour is pushing back. So wherever you want to push back, you create a shadow. So you want to push back over here. Some people generally want to push back over here if their forehead is a little bit not in proportion with their face. They'll put it a bit over there. And some people will do it to hide a double chin that they might want to hide a little bit and in their nose. So that's what a contour is doing. So that is why it will always be a matte color as well and never a shimmer. So that's what it means. So start here and not here up. So okay. Here Got you. Okay, firstly, why are you doing that? I want to see what my cheek one is. Okay. So, feel your cheek, feel your cheek one. Because remember, if everybody does this, it's not the same. Look at mine. Like, it's not the same. So, yours is perfect, but not everybody's in. So, not everybody can do that. <laughs> They'll end up having a very weird contour. Okay, okay, okay. So I must feel the cheekbone. So feel where your cheekbone is. So when I did my sister's makeup and I said do this, I might be put it in the wrong place. Possibly. Could it be in the right place? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Sorry, sister. Okay, so yeah, here's the today. cheekbone. So feel your cheekbone. It's here. So then this will go right underneath the cheekbone. Okay. Oh, under the cheekbone. Under the cheekbone, because you want your sh you want your cheekbone to pop out, isn't it? Oh, okay. So it was up your cheekbone. You were on the cheekbone. Yeah. Okay. That's very nice, okay? So now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna blend it out a little bit more. We're gonna turn the brush a little bit, okay? So don't put any more product on. Yeah. Okay? So now I'm just gonna turn the brush a bit, use this side, so less this side which we were using now, because we wanna blend this up a little bit more. So I'm blending up down. All right, oh, good. Right. Nice color, nice color contour. Mm. Okay, however, with your foundation brush, the one we use, Okay, this is Rocket Science. It's all on here. It's my new foundation brand. Okay, so always keep this as an, like an eraser, right? So now you feel, oh, I went a bit more down, a, a bit too down. Then you just take this, and you just kind of like take it away. Mm. Or you went a bit more out, then you just mm. sort of take it up a bit there. Mm. 
Okay, but remember this is our first time practice guys with this new color. So we um where did it go? Yeah. What does it look like on my very nice? Like, why are you taking it down again? I'm just adding a bit more because it looked a bit like a like a uh, line. Uh, and I don't want a line. Cool. Okay. And then also where to stop, right? So I like to sort of go from here, from the yellow, or just above the yellow, depending on where your cheekbone is. And then I would like to go in the direction of the mouth. So if I were to draw a straight line now, I would end up at the corner of your mouth. So a lot of people does it like that, and then it goes down, or weird shapes. So keep that in mind to always, if you were to draw a straight line, it would end at the corner of your mouth. So it must be here. Uh... No, so from here. Uh, right? Oh, from your, from your ear From thing. your earlobe. So it must stop here. Yeah, so it must stop there. Really. So, okay, look at this. So it's gonna go from here, this direction. I'm mm. talking about the angle. Mm. So not this, or not that, like that. Mm. So your mouth direction, right? Mm. The furthest point is, like I don't like to go further than the end of the eye. Oh, okay. As you can see. Oh. So I'm not ending there, I'm not ending here, mm. I'm not the ending there. I'm ending too far sometimes. Yeah, mm. so don't go too far. Sometimes end a little bit further in, so that when you blend it out, it blends out to there. Because if you stop yeah. there, and you blend out, it's going to go even further. Okay, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay. And then what I like to do is with the rest of the brush, no real product on, just like, just to give color. Not really contouring or doing anything. I just like to give color, so it's like a very, a very, a very. Some people call it a three mm. or e, whatever you like to call it. But I don't even like the feel of it. This is just a, a standardized sort of look. Okay. Okay. So now we're gonna put some highlight on, <laughs> and that's actually giving you like some more color as well, which is nice. Mm. Okay. Now we're going for the highlighter. Yeah. Cool. Which brush did you use? Were you using the same brush? No, this is a different brush. You're using a different brush? Yeah. Well done. And I have this. Guys, I just want to say I don't have any makeup on. Well, I have a little bit on, but I've got no eyes or anything on, so if I look weird, I'm sorry. Okay? You I have like a nice skin I like you, so this. Okay. So I noticed you were doing some funny thing like this when you were doing the top part, just to make it smaller? Yeah. Okay. But you've got small brushes now, so you can do that. Okay. So where is this going to go? Yeah. So this is going to go on the cheekbone. So remember the two oh, kind of okay. works together. Oh, okay. So you created a shadow under the cheekbone to pop out the cheekbone, but mm. now you want to pop out the cheekbones some more. Mm. Right? So I like to use a point, right? This side. Always tap off. Okay. Mm. Okay, this brush is fine to use. I prefer that flat thing. That flat thing. It goes like this. No. Oh. I prefer. So it was okay. But was I right the first time when I did it? Yeah, you were right, but I just saw a little bit of a line. What do you mean a line? Like there was a line, so it wasn't blended in top. So for example, oh, okay. if you go like this, right? Yeah. And you don't blend it the other way. You're going to see a line. Oh, I never knew that I must take it down also. Yeah, definitely. Like my stuff was all lines when I did yeah. my makeup. So that's because you're always in one direction. Oh. Uh, like always Because like I, I think if I take it down, it's then gonna it's going to go be on. all over. Yeah, no. But just the ends. So feel my pressure when I do that. It's light. Oh, okay. Hmm. You see it? Yeah. On the other side? Other side? <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's okay. Is there a contour there? <laughs> That's weird. Okay. Hmm. Okay, cool. My side, wrong side, guys. Just look at the coloring events. Hmm. Other side. Cool. Yeah, okay, cool. So that's basically a cheek. You can add a blush. You say you've got more blush, eh? Hmm. So you don't have to do a contour and a highlight and a blush. Oh. You really don't. You can do just this too. Like a lot of my looks is just contour and highlight. I really, I'm not a blush fan, um, but I use it just if someone needs a bit of color, but you really don't. But let's add one and see what some color does. Let's use, no, I don't like to use this brush. Why? Is it so, like a show it's, it's too flat. Like this, I don't like this as a, as a blush brush. I feel like it's, you're placing it and literally it's going to go everywhere. Like it's going to go oh, over, contour, okay. over the highlight. It's just going to go everywhere. Oh, okay. I really prefer using a smaller brush. So oh. if we're going to use this brush, and this? 
it's also flat oh this one is better but this one is harder so if we're gonna use a harder brush right remember we're gonna put the color on and we're gonna place the color over here if it's a harder brush if it's a lot more compact you're gonna get a dot and you're not gonna be able to blend it out very easily okay mm. so feel this so feel this mm. and feel this Mm. It's a better brush for a blush, right? So I know it's the same brush we use for the highlighter, but it's okay. So we're gonna just wipe some off. Okay. Is that the birds? Yeah, that's the birds, guys. The birds just came Where to say hello to the makeup artist. Oh my word. <laughs> I don't wanna say hello to the birds. <laughs> the birds can just stay, it's fine. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. wait, I'll get up. Because it's going to irritate people on the video. Okay, you can't see my mouth. Uh-uh. Oh, I'm going to lock it. Looks like it, yeah. Here we go. It's not staying. No, it's not. Oh. Is there another sweetie here? Chocolate. Hmm. Cool. Okay, so let's see this blush. Okay, also, why are we smiling? Because we want to see where the vanity juice is. Can't you see it without? No. Okay, so also, if you are more mature and you smile, your cheek is going to be there. And then when you don't smile, the cheek is going to be over here. So you, it's not going to work for everybody. Understand? Oh, it works for you. So I like to put the blush just on the apple. So just look at your face. Look where is the high planes of your face. So look where on your cheek is the highest point. Can you see? Yeah. So I like to just put this blush on. Let me just put it. So I'm not going to take the blush all the way up. And I find a lot of people is doing this. Taking it all the way up. No. I did it. No. Just there. Because now you're going to take it over your highlighter. Can you see any color? Very little bit, no? mm. It's there. Very subtle. Very subtle. Mm. Mm. My skin is popping. <laughs> so now we are going to start. Now I'm going to do my... Oh, she has everything. Now I'm going to have everything here now. So now I'm going to do the side of my face, guys. Wish me luck. No asking questions. No asking questions. No asking questions. <laughs> I should have listened. Okay guys, so I just want to show you. That's no makeup. Okay, but this phone and the lights make my skin look very good. It <laughs> doesn't actually look like this guys, but that's no makeup and that's makeup. Can you see the difference? A small difference, yeah. Okay, cool. Try. Try putting it under the brush. With a flat brush, and then you use the beauty blender and you just practice it. Oh, there's it. On top. Oh, can I put it on my put hand it first? Hand. Yeah, exactly like we did, but then don't like blend it mm. out with the brush, blend it out with the foundation. But put, put quite a bit on. You can try it if you want to. Try this. Should so, I? Yeah, try, um, try. try put, putting it under the brush, under the flat brush, and then you use the beauty blender and you just pat it in. Oh. There's it. On top. Oh. Can I put it on my hand first? Again. Yeah, exactly like we did. But then don't like blend it mm. out with the brush, blend it out with the foundation. But put, put quite a bit on. Because I feel like sometimes the beauty takes up to take the food. Hmm. I'm too harsh on my face. Yeah, so kutwa, kutwa, kutwa. Slightly. Easier. Mm-hmm. Okay, 
like it mm -hmm. compared to the brush. I do find that the brush gives a more glowy effect though. Oh yeah, definitely. So maybe for this body and skin, maybe just use the brush. Yeah, do you know what? Actually, I like the Beauty Blender for a more full coverage foundation. Mm -hmm. Then I like it more, because then mm. it's a very nice finish. But somehow the Beauty Blender, like, I prefer this brushes. Some orange. And then some yellow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. And then we are going to to mix the two. Um, I'm gonna find my brushes. Oh. So then I'm gonna pat it into the orange. Then pack it into the yellow and then pack it on the end first. So don't don't like um don't be like shocked when you see all the orange you're like oh my god I don't know what to do it's fine like we're gonna connect it afterwards with the yellow so the orange is literally just taking away all that darkness and then you can either use a yellow over it or you can use your skin color concealer but I like to use the yellow because it highlights and brighten, brightens up at the same time. Cool. <laughs> and then... Go on. Yeah, let's just make sure that there's no um, orange yellow. I feel you. I hear you. Okay, cool. Concealer done. Yes. Okay. We didn't add normal concealer, but I think we're going to show what we're going to do that next time. What do you mean with normal? normal oh, yeah. Color concealer is we need to extra coverage. And oh, that's tough. Okay, so now we are going moving over to the. Um, to this. No. Not yet. What did we do before that? No, I think. Why can't we put this over yet? Oh yeah, we need our um, powder. Yeah. <laughs> we need the powder. Please, Banana. Please. Oh, you did this. Yeah. 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 Take it off. Slightly just back in. Back, back, back. Trace it in. Oh. In that lines. Cool. That's enough, just one layer is cool. Around the eye a little bit more. And we're gonna pat in the rest of the face. So with this you don't have to do quick motions, you can do it slowly and then just place it in the yeah. I'm gonna start here guys. Okay. Really lightly, lightly, lightly. I don't want to put in. Okay, what do see? Do we see a line? Mm. Why? Do you see the line? So you're gonna take the brush and you're gonna take use this side, right? Use the other side of it now because now you put the product on here, right? So you still product on here. So take the side and then so I'm going a bit harder for once. Okay. There we go. Oh. Cool. So you use the side now? Yeah, just to take away that line. Oh. So it's the same like the other side. Mm. You feel like you just didn't. Mm. 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 Cool. I 
Kante looks super nice. Yay! <laughs> Ooh, okay, so that was that was um, lesson one, guys. <laughs> It was just was was this like skin? This is just skin. So oh. our next lesson, we're gonna practice a skin again. See, I see now. See why I see the wipe it off? Because mm. now it's there. It's all in your ponytail. Look there. Uh, shame. Okay. So next time we're gonna practice some more skin. We're gonna add some concealer. Guys, so if you love this tutorial and makeup lesson or whatever for beginners, let's call it makeup for beginners. Um, stay tuned for the next one. Like, comment, subscribe.